Theodore Sturgeon's Thunder and Roses is a powerful and haunting exploration of the human condition under the shadow of impending annihilation. Set in a dystopian future where the Earth has been devastated by nuclear war, the story delves into the psychological and moral struggles of its characters as they face the end of civilization. Sturgeon's narrative examines the complexities of fear, hope, and the human instinct for survival in the face of total destruction. The story centers around Pete Mauser, a soldier stationed at a military base that is one of the last remnants of human civilization. The world outside the base has been decimated, with most of the population wiped out by the nuclear holocaust. The base itself is a grim reminder of the futility of war, housing only a few survivors who are clinging to life in a world that is barely recognizable. Mauser, like the others, is haunted by the knowledge that humanity is on the brink of extinction, and the hopelessness of the situation weighs heavily on him. A key element of the story is the moral dilemma presented by the existence of a remaining stockpile of nuclear weapons. Despite the destruction already wrought, these weapons have the potential to obliterate what little remains of the world. The characters grapple with the question of whether to use these weapons as a final act of revenge against their enemies or to refrain, thereby leaving a faint possibility for some form of future life on Earth. This dilemma encapsulates the broader theme of the story, which is the struggle between vengeance and the possibility of redemption. The character of Mary Blunt, a former singer who is now a symbol of the last vestiges of humanity, plays a crucial role in the narrative. Mary, who has become an icon of hope for the survivors, urges them to reject the path of destruction and instead choose life, however bleak that life may be. Her message is one of peace and the preservation of what little remains of humanity, even in the face of overwhelming despair. Mary's character embodies the idea that even in the darkest of times, there is a moral obligation to strive for something better, to seek out the possibility of hope. Mauser's internal conflict is the heart of the story. He is torn between his duty as a soldier, which would compel him to consider the use of the remaining weapons, and his desire to preserve what little is left of the world. His interactions with Mary, and the impact of her words, lead him to a profound realization about the nature of humanity and the futility of vengeance. Mauser comes to understand that the true enemy is not the foreign power that destroyed the world, but the hatred and desire for revenge that reside within himself and others. This realization is a turning point for him, as he begins to see that the only way to honor the dead and give meaning to their lives is to break the cycle of violence. Sturgeon's writing is marked by its emotional depth and the intensity of its moral questions. The bleakness of the setting and the dire situation of the characters create a sense of urgency that drives the narrative forward. The story does not shy away from the harsh realities of the world it depicts, but it also offers a glimmer of.